What's up, Mini X? Today we've got something special in this box. It's a brand new part for Mini. It's what they call the waistline trim, or what everybody else calls the belt line trim. And we've got it in piano black, finally. Mini announced that about two years ago they'd be making it. It's finally out. I have it here. We're gonna take it and we're gonna replace this piano black covered chrome belt line trim and replace it with that piano black part. Now, if you wanna just cover your chrome trim, you can see this, uh, we've done it, I've done it twice before now. Check out those videos if you want to go that route. It's a little bit cheaper as this is quite a bit expensive. It's around 500 US dollars, so it's not the cheapest option for sure. But uh, we're going to do it anyways, see what it's like. And uh, we'll probably de-chrome or uh, remove the uh, black vinyl tape to put, put this back to chrome before we remove it. So yeah, I imagine we'll start seeing this as an actual option when, on, uh, when you configure newer cars. Instead of having to get chrome belt line trim or waistline trim, you can just get the piano black from the factory when you get the piano black headlight trim and door, uh, door uh, handles and whatnot. So yeah, let's open this box and get started. So here it is, the belt line trim in piano black. Finally, a real part. And it looks like we have one, two, three, four. They've even numbered them for us. Five, six, there's eight pieces we gotta do. So first thing we need to figure out is how to get the old trim off the uh, existing car and then we'll put this one on. Not really sure how it comes off. Let's, uh, let's figure that one out. And that's it, we just ripped $30 off uh, the outside of the card, put on a new uh, new part, let's do it. So now we've got the vinyl tape off, uh, we're back to the chrome belt line. We're gonna figure out how to remove this, I've never removed it before, but uh, we'll do that together here and uh, figure it out, and then we'll put the new piano black part on. So let's go ahead and figure out how to pry this off. I think I have a rough idea, but let's see. Let's start by prying up the corner. We got it loose a little bit, and I think what you wanna do is pull up, yep pull up from the bottom as you pull out the trim. Sounds scary, but we have the replacement part, so it, it'd probably be okay if we broke something, but we're gonna try not to. Whoa. And there we go, we got the one piece off. And I don't know if you can see this, but these are the clips, uh, little white clips here. Uh, white and black, and they both have uh, serrated teeth that are directional, and they go one direction. So you want to lift, that's why you want to lift up so that you can release that direction, uh, release those serrated teeth in that direction you're trying to pull. So this is the back corner panel, now that we got it off, we'll do a little cleaning underneath, and then we'll put the piano black piece on and see how it looks. So yeah, the chrome piece is off. Uh, all we needed was a quick uh, little pry tool to get it started. And it was a little scary, but once you get it off, it's not too bad. And now we have our piano black part straight from Mini. I'll leave a link in the description where you can buy this. I found it in the UK uh, Mini site and the US Mini site. So we've cleaned the area and we're gonna go ahead and just put this on. So let's uh, kind of do it in reverse. We'll start at the front and work our way back here. So there's a little tab on the inside so you can kind of get it uh, aligned on the, on the end. And then you're gonna kind of put it in at an angle to, to slot the the uh, clip into the, the recess, and we're just gonna start pushing until we hear it snap, and we'll just work our way back. You hear that? That's the sound of victory. Voila, there it is. Let's go around and do the rest of the car. So we did the quarter, rear quarter panel first, and that was easy because we had a nice, uh, nice corner to start on behind the trunk. Now we're on the door panels, they're a little bit harder. So on the door, to get it started, there's a little tab at the back that you've gotta kinda pull out and that way you'll be able to get it started. And there's not really clips in this one like there are on the other ones. So this one, yeah, you're gonna pull, release that tab and then pull straight up. You have the uh, felt that lines the window when it what's up. So you got a little bit more on this on this trim piece and you're gonna pull up rather than out like you did on the other one. So keep in mind when you're, when you're doing that, we're going up.
and there we go. So uh, on the side scuttles, you're also gonna lift, there's a little tab on the back, you're gonna lift that little tab and then lift this part just kind of straight up. So these all seem to be a little bit different in how they're removed. So just kind of look at what the new part is like so you get a rough idea of you know what, you, what method you'll need to use to remove it. So we got the old part here, new part in black, here it is. And we're just gonna replace it by sliding it on top. and we hear it clip into place. Good to go. All right, so we're gonna take off the hood next, and it's just like the doors and the uh, side scuttles. It's one of those ones where we release the clip and pull up. So the door, side scuttle, hood all pull up, and the rear quarter panel, the trunk, and the other rear quarter panel pull out because they've got the uh, ratcheting clips. So we're gonna release the clip on the corner and just start to peel the corner up, and then it should come off. So now we've got the chrome piece off. We've cleaned it up a little bit. We're gonna put the piano black piece on, just go in reverse. We're gonna start at the corner, get the clip in, and then just push it down all the way across. All right, so we're on to the last piece of uh, trim to place with, replace with the piano black part, and it's the trunk, or as you call it over in Europe, the boot. So uh, this one is one of the ones that pulls uh, out, so we're gonna release the, release the uh, teeth by pulling up and out for this piece. So we're gonna start this corner, and then just work our way around. Started, and then Pull up from the bottom. Ooh, sounds scary. All right, piano black piece, we're gonna put it on. We'll start at this corner, we'll work our way across. There is nothing to guide it up, so uh, just uh, do your best to get it in the right spot. And we just push it on all the way across. And we wanna hear those snaps. So you're gonna to have to push really hard. Last clip, we're good. Voila, piano black trim, mini part. I'll leave the link down below, check it out. So yeah, that's it. This is the belt line or what Mini calls the waistline trim in piano black. It's finally a part, you can finally get it. I'll leave links below for it and uh, you can install it on your car instead of doing the uh, belt line trim, which is more of a vinyl tape across that. But uh, yeah, leave any questions or comments you have below about the installation and removal process. I'll try and answer them. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, don't forget to wave when you see another Mini, all right? Now let's go drive this around town and impress the pants off of our Mini friends.